Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh, wait, 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 what should we do? Should we do the in different intro? Roll the intro. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the latest news brought to you live from Klaus's basement. I just had a snack of some grapes, guys. I bought a big tub of grapes and I ate them mm, they were so good and now I have to re I have to recycle this plastic that the that the grapes came in on the little plastic container here there's a little symbol a little triangular arrow thing with a number inside that assures me this thing uh, should be recycled so I'm gonna go put it in the blue bin uh, out in front of my house now why would I do that why would I do that why do when we eat our grapes and we have our plastic uh, wrappers or plastic containers, do we diligently put them in our blue bins? Well, because we've been brainwashed into feeling guilty that if we don't do that, we're destroying the planet. And uh, governments and corporations have worked very hard to make us believe that if we do not put this in the blue bin, we are evil and bad and horrible people and we're destroying the planet. They've gone, gone through a lot of meticulous uh, uh, setup and spent billions of dollars uh, setting up a huge infrastructure, an elaborate process where we do this. Uh, for instance, in the city that I live right now, um, uh, the government has manufactured hundreds of thousands of large blue bins, probably in factories where they, you know, they've burned fossil fuels to make these huge bins, one per house. Um, uh, funny enough, these bins are made out of plastic. And then they delivered these big blue bins to all the houses. They have wheels and you, you can push them around. They de delivered them to all the houses in big trucks that burn fossil fuels. And now each household has a huge blue bin and we're instructed to put all our plastic recyclables in this bin. And once a week, these massive trucks drive around the city every street in the city to hundreds of thousands of houses and they pick up the blue bins and dump them inside these big trucks that run on diesel and then these trucks drive to warehouses around the city where they dump all the recyclable plastic uh, and these warehouses are heated using natural gas which is a fossil fuel and and then uh, we use uh, cheap labor mainly immigrants to sort through the stuff because some people some assholes put stuff in there that's not recyclable and they they sort through it and then the, these big mounds of plastics are wrapped and squished and then they're loaded on trucks and trains and and sent to the the west and the east coast of our country we have a big country so sometimes the plastic travels thousands of kilometers thousands of miles uh, on trains or, uh, or or trucks which burn fossil fuels to, to travel and then they're delivered say to Vancouver where they're put in the uh, uh, in the port of Vancouver, and then these big cranes load these these things uh, and, and put them on these huge ships, these huge transport ships, uh, which run on fossil fuels, and the cranes that run on fossil fuels, and then these ships travel across the Pacific Ocean, five thousand miles, and they, they go to China, and they dump the stuff there, and then China routes through these things. And uh, they, they have cheaper uh, labor, labor than our cheap immigrant labor. They have citizens, slaves, that work on this stuff for almost free, uh, the lowest part of their society. And they sift through this stuff and they take only the, the, the few percentage uh, uh, of the material that they think they could possibly use. And, and, then what, and then some factories in China use that to make, uh, 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 for instance, children's toys. Uh, and then, you know, they don't look so good, but then they paint them with uh, toxic paint, maybe. Uh, and then they sell them back to us uh, in North America. And around Christmas, we all uh, rush out to buy toys for our kids. You know, spend 50 bucks for some Pokemon doll that's 10% uh, recycled material used inside. Um, that, that's how it works. But the, China doesn't want the, uh, uh, the recycled material anymore because they, they can't make any money off it anymore. So now we ship it to the Philippines and uh, the Philippines throws it away mostly. And 90% of, uh, of this plastic material that we diligently recycle and have been for decades now 
uh, ends up uh, in China and the Philippines and they use a small portion of it and the stuff they don't use they either burn or throw in the ocean. You don't believe me? Okay, let's let's uh, let's use the technology here to bring up the story. Recycling was a lie, a big lie, to sell more plastic. Industry experts say, the truth has come out. The bullshit has been revealed. Less than ten percent of the plastics we've used has been recycled. A new documentary reveals. There's a new documentary that's coming out where some scientists and some smart people have actually traced where recycling and plastics go. And to their horror, they've realized that 90% of what we've been uh, recycling has never been recycled. Although less than 10% of plastics we've used has been recycled. Although activists sounded the alarm about plastic waste in the 1970s, the documentary claims that from 1990 to 2010, Plastic production more than doubled. We've been sorting our trash for decades, believing it would be recycled. But the truth is, the vast majority of the plastic we use won't be. Over the last seven decades, less than 10% of the waste has been recycled. That's because, says David Alloway, a smart person from the Oregon Department of uh, Environmental Quality, the conversation has been almost exclusively about recycling and not reducing or reusing. You see, industry has adopted the term recycle as opposed to reuse. What the industry means by recycle is we can throw it away. There, I've just recycled that. The recycling logo, the little triangular thing with the, with the arrows that we all look at and say, oh, this is recyclable. You better put that in the recycling bin. The recycling truck's going to come and pick it up. It's going to take it to the recycling station and then it'll be recycled. The recycle, recycling logo was actually just a marketing tool. It's just something that the industry came up with to make us feel good about using plastic. Oh, we can, I can buy this plastic. It's got the recycling label on it. I've done my part to save the planet. In the 80s, the industry was at the center of an environmental backlash. Fearing an outright ban on plastic, the manufacturers looked for ways to get ahead of the problem. They looked at recycling as a way to improve the image of their product and started labeling plastic with the now ubiquitous chasing arrows symbol with a number. We will make a symbol with arrows that will symbolize recycling, but we'll, we'll put a number in it and, and they'll think the number means something. And like as if we're organized, it has to be complicated enough that it'll fool them, but simple enough that they'll recognize it. It's a, it's a logo. They put a logo on plastic. And, and that's basically, it's like when you go to the superstore. I, I, I go to a superstore here and shop and they have a section called the organics section, organic with an S. And all that is, is a trademark name, organics that they put on some food, but it's not organic. It's just a brand name called Organics. And when you buy it, you think, oh, I bought something organic. You know, you just bought something called Organics. It's different, different topic for another video. But according to Ronald Leesmer, an industry vet veteran who is tasked with overseeing the new initiative, making recycling work was a way to keep the products in the marketplace. They just simply, rather than have the products, um, because they were competing against the forestry industry, there was this fight between the forestry industry and the oil industry, the oil industry supplying the raw materials to make plastic. And you know, the, the oil industry said, you can't use paper because that's bad for the trees. And everyone could understand that because when you pick up a piece of paper, you th it's easy to understand, oh, I've killed a tree if I use paper. They lobbied and made us believe that plastic is good because we can recycle it. But you can recycle paper, but you can't recycle plastic. The oil industry won. Most consumers, most consumers, most morons, most regular schmoes like you and me, might have assumed, now not me, 
I believe everything's bullshit. And I tell you guys that, right? I, I knew it was bullshit 10 years ago. I can't stand recycling when I see the truck come by. But I, let's, let's just read this. Most consumers, because we swim in a sea of bullshit. Everything's bullshit. Everything. Anyway, let's read this. Most consumers might have assumed <laughs> the symbol meant the product was recyclable. <laughs> Most consumers probably thought that the, the recycling symbol on the plastic stuff that they were recycling into, into their blue bin that the government or the, the municipality told them and we paid for it. I paid like 40 bucks a month for waste disposal and a recycling fee of $20 a month for the trucks to come by and pick it up. Most of us, not me, but most morons assumed that the symbol meant the product was recyclable. But according to experts in the film, there was no economical viable way to recycle most plastics. And they have ultimately ended up in landfills or in the ocean. This includes plastic films, bags and wrappings and around packaged goods, as well as containers like margarine tubs. This guy uh, quoting him, our own customers, they would flat out say it says it's recyclable right on it, says Coy Smith, former board member of the National Recycling Coalition. And I'd be like, I can tell you, I can't give this away. There's no one that would even take it if I paid them to take it because you can't recycle the plastic. You can't. The, all you, the only th way that we've reused plastic is to break it into little bits, smash it up and break it into tiny bits so that it can be molded into different shapes using glues and adhesives. And the Chinese do that and they make cheap stuff that then they paint that looks good and they sell it to us. And we're stupid enough to buy it. But anyways... He believes manufacturers use the symbol as a green marketing tool. Yes, of course. The pub, anyways. <laughs> Lots of our plastic was shipped to China, then Southeast Asia for quote unquote recycling. And the story goes on, the story goes on. I'll link this story uh, to the bottom of the video, guys. I will link it down there. Um, it's just another example of the utter sea of bullshit that we are swimming through, the fog of bullshit that surrounds us all the time. You are better off when you, when you eat your grapes and you're left with the container. You are, more, uh, you are more environmentally friendly if you take this and you throw it in the fucking garbage, in the garbage, so the garbage truck picks it up and dumps it in the landfill where you live. That is more environmentally friendly one truck comes picks it up puts it into the landfill it's buried that is more environmentally friendly than the fucking shit show of of, of this huge uh, uh elaborate setup of, of of blue bins and trucks and storage houses and with trains to uh, uh transport ships across the ocean to china and malaysia it's it, it's We've been we've been fucked up the ass, okay? Uh, so that uh, th th these companies can just continue to sell shit, a and governments knew all about it, and it, it, it's just guys, it's just a sea of bullshit. And um, this was one story I wanted to expose for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I actually feel good when uh, when uh, some of my cynical that's bullshit views gets uh, vindicated. I'm gonna watch this. Uh, uh, documentary and i'll quote this article in the in the video description here have a great rest of your day guys stay safe and when you have some plastic uh, that i'm sure you do when you unwrap something throw it in the fucking garbage take your blue bin and fucking burn it we should have a burn the blue bin uh, uh movement all right guys i will catch you on the next one